Ooh. Ooh. Yep, it works. <laughs> it's coming through great. All right, what do we always say, Samuel? One, two, three, four, One, three, 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 Hey everybody! Whoa, whoa. Um, welcome back to the show, all you viewers that I'm sure are there. Um, welcome to McCracken at Midnight, the show where everybody loves you. Pretty much, all two of us. Um, it's great, great, great to be back. Um, Coming at you live from the Monkey Palace. The Monkey, Palace. The Monkey Palace. Let me let us tell you the whole entire saga in case you haven't been around. It's on the schedule as I told you. What's up? What's up? First of all, how are all you? And we have the comments going, all that that good junk. So hopefully you guys will start. I don't know um, who is online or if anyone's online. Well, it says four viewers. No, nah, that's that's different. That's oh three three current. Okay, three, three current. current. So there's some people out there. All right. You guys start you know saying whatever and saying if. You can hear us or anything and shit like that. Yeah, it I don't know how to put, check that. The thing is, well, there's a little deal doohickey down here. I can see it. We, he, okay, let, let me get you up to speed. Yeah, you talk, we used to do this up. out of out of uh, our school. The school is Museum of Fine Arts. Um, then uh, they threw Sam out um, for dealing drugs on campus. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> no, Sam graduated. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, uh, Sam graduated, and then other Sam, who ran the station, um, graduated, and also, like, moved cameras and shit, and so we've been, like, faking our way through this show, slash just not doing it for the past few weeks. And it's been, like, a month that we've been off, and we're like, so, well, I guess that's the end of McCracken at Midnight, because it's summer, and there's no more school, and we did it through school, but then we're like, well, Sam built that station out of trash. Yeah. Not there's anything wrong with it. He was awesome for doing it. And we, you know, he gave us our show and he's the man. But we were like, we can build our station out of trash too. So now we're here in the basement of the Monkey Palace. Yeah! Where I live. And we're picking it back up. And this is our, our comeback special tonight. We're back for good. Now indefinitely. Now that we don't have to deal with, you know, school. It's, um, this is just, this is our show from now on. Hey, everyone. Hopefully... It'll get better than this. We're using the microphone and the webcam. You can hear it fine, dude. You can hear it No, I know. I'm trying to figure out if we can enable comments or something like that, because I think comments are disabled. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. We're working on it, everyone. Uh, like you said, we just kind of started this up today, and we're, we're, we're doing our new show. And this, since it's not reliant on school, oh. um, is we can just keep doing this. Yeah. Forever and ever. Sorry, Literally, we're going to do really McCracken at Midnight until we die. Until until we die. Um, and, uh... I don't, I don't know how to do it. Whatever. Uh, but then we can't sing the comments. If I know. Comments. I know. It's painful. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're working on it. We'll go to a... I'll think of, I'll think, I'll think. So anyway, yeah, so lots of stuff happening, lots of shit going on. We weren't able to do it. I graduated, say I'm having trouble with the studio, and now the studio's down. So we're just doing it from the basement. Which is good enough. And it's, it's awesome. We're working on stuff right now that will make it all a lot easier for you to look at us and hear us, and you'll hear about that stuff sooner or later. Sooner rather than Hopefully later. Sooner rather than later, um, yeah. That one doesn't work. Um, but, well... Hey, all of you watching right now, let's just, let's, let's see if this, let's see if this works. All of you watching right now, go to Facebook and like the McCracken at Midnight page. That's the only thing we can do. Do that. Just do that. I think that we should start a group eventually, because then we can do the comments on the, in a group if we can't do them in the chat. I don't know, whatever. Oh, yeah, anyway. Anymore. Anyway. We didn't start the original station. Sam White started it, yeah. so he set all that stuff up, and we just used it. And um, so we're we're trying to do this on our own now. And we're out, big kids left the nest. Yeah. Um, and and we can absolutely not handle ourselves out here. Not at in the, all. The real big wide world of internet live stream okay. shows. Um. Oh. Oh, well, Melody goes on. We might have fixed it. No. Nah, well, I just signed out of the of our account because I was signed into the account. Okay. Um, 
I know we have five current viewers. Okay. And Good job, five and viewers. And they're making comments? These are like the, the Ustream comments, though. They're not like the, you know, other well, comments. What's wrong with Ustream comments? Nothing. They're just not the, like, regular chat. All right, finally, Care. Thank you, Care, for finally liking the yeah, Democratic Jesus. Midnight page. Uh, <laughs> Care has literally, I think, watched um, every show. She's been downstairs for every show. Yeah. We say, hey, we say, hey, Care, we're going to do our show. And then we go do our show, and we came back, and we're like, Care, we just did our show. He's like, yeah, I know. That's pretty much. Yeah, and I also, we it. have a whole segment named after her. That's how devoted she yeah. is. And, she, and, like, whatever. 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 Anyway. Whatever. Okay. So, we can see some of your comments. Some of you we can't see. Uh, we see that person. That's awesome. Hooray! Okay, anyway. We can see some of your comments. Keep commenting, because we like seeing your comments. And, and, again, we're still trying to figure this out. But, on with the show. Uh, we haven't done In the Nudes mm -hmm. in a long time. And for a while, there wasn't a lot of news going on, so who gives a shit? In, but, in, 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 uh... In commemoration to our return, I'm going to just remove my shirt for In the Nudes, so that it's almost like we're in the nudes. Yeah. Um, it's chilly. You know what? Fuck it, I'll do it too. It is cold down here. It's quite chilly. Hey, dude. We also have a live studio audience for the first time. Yay! Yeah, woo! Yeah. Yeah. Sam's Mute your dinner. computers! And, what? yeah, it's going to get crazy. Oh, yeah. wait, Mark isn't watching our show. He's watching He's watching freaking Avatar. Well, no, I am watching your show, but right now it's an advertisement for Clorox. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, well. shit. That's all right, anyway, all right, it's nudes. Right. We're it's talking about it's a nudes here. Okay. Uh, so, as you say, we haven't been around for a while, um, so we missed this one, but it's just totally our style. We have to go back for it. Cannibalism spree. Cannibalism spree. Um, What's with all the cannibalism right now? You know about the face eater. Yeah, there's a face eater in Florida. That he was naked and he ate a dude's face, and the dude was laying there getting his face eaten after getting beaten. This guy, this naked dude, was eating his face. A cop pulled up and told him to back away, and he didn't because he was a, he was you know he's busy eating the dude's face. So the cop pulled out his gun and shot him once, which is I'm like totally cool with because if we talked about this like well this is a kind of situation I remember there was something uh, the cops came into this dude's house they had a noise complaint or something and then. The kid was cutting his little sister's head off with yeah. like a knife, and the guy shot him because that's what you do when you see a dude yeah. cutting up if there's two girl's head off. Killing another person like that in some way, you I, and, and everyone was like, "I can't believe you shot him!" Oh, that excessive force. He was like he was cutting a two-year-old's head off. Yeah. So anyway, the point is, you see a guy eating a dude's face. I think you do whatever it takes to get that dude off yeah, the guy. So anyway, apparently in this case it was more than shooting him. Yeah, so he shot him once, and that didn't stop him. The guy kept eating the other guy's face. So he shot him seven more times, or six more times, or something like that. No. What I really want is, though, you shoot him once, and it's like, he doesn't even react. He's still just eating the face. Does he like, shoot him again, and he's like, anything now? I know, I'm like... Or it was, it was like, oh, nothing, and then boom, 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 boom. Or was it like, shoot him once, nothing... Shoot him once, still eating the face. Okay, shoot him again. Like, did were they like spaced out to like? I'm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I, what I imagine is he shot him once, and the guy kept eating the face. So the cop like freaked out and was like, "Oh god, it's a zombie!" And he just kept shooting. Well, because here. here's the other thing that comes up. Um, this was in Florida, and then the other face eater was in Georgia. No, they weren't Maryland. Face Maryland. Um, still kind of the south. So yeah, the other the other bit of news is. That recently, uh, last week, there was a college student. I think they were college students. He's like 20 or 21 or something like that. Yeah. Ate his friend's heart and part of his brain. Well, I mean, you can't really call him a friend. Well, yeah, I guess yeah. maybe they weren't friends. They were just college Roommates. Anyway. Ate his heart and part of his brain. Mm-hmm. Um, Which, so, I can't... So, here's, here's, so, here's the situation. We have cannibalism, kind of like a couple different cases close to each other. Already, it's like, whoa, that's weird. But then, one of them, first of all, is, you know, seemingly invincible and, or, you know, invulnerable to bullets. And naked. And naked and just batshit crazy. But he was in Florida. He was in Florida, so, you know, that's what happens. But, but, um, you have that going on, and then you have multiple, and then there was this rumor going around on the internet that it was caused by, they originally said that the face eater was because of bath salts. He smoked bath salts. Yeah. And just lost his shit. But then there was a rumor going on on the internet that it was actually caused by this brain virus. And do we have any more news on that? Uh, no. I mean, we don't really. 
you know, uh, but, brain virus face eater. Um, anyway, the point is, everyone, you know, not everyone, pretty much me, were like, whoa, this is weird, and this is like um, science, science fiction and craziness stuff. But, I think at this point, people have talked so much about zombie apocalypse that if it ever actually happened, people it would be like, that's just hilarious. Yeah. And it's like, people, you know, it, it's, weird, it's, it's weird how, like, you know, that's become really popular in the past couple of years, and it's so thoroughly impractical, but, like, everyone's really serious about it. It's, but they're I, I, not, it's, it's really it's, weird. It's just because of the availability of, like, the media that portrays yeah. it as something that is possible. So then, then I don't know, the thing, I think if, if anything like that actually happened, it would just, I'd, I'd laugh pretty fucking hard, like, until I got my feces yeah. in Florida. You know what's really fun? Look at, look at the camera. Look on the, on the stream. It looks like I have boobs. With the shadows. Look at my boobs. You kind of, wait. You kind of do. Kind of do. It's all muscle. I swear. Anyway, what else, what are, what are the new? Oh, ones? okay. So, uh, SpaceX, the the corporation that does. I'm just gonna. Uh, the corporation that does, you know, um, planetary, the, the private organization that does space travel and, and space technology and stuff like that, um, sent their first supply probe to the International Space Station a week ago, um, which means that space travel is now privatized. And so is NASA's abandoned space program, which is both terrifying because this is where we get alien, uh, but also this is where we get you know the organization alien. But this alien. is where we get any amount of space travel. But this is where we don't give a travel. fuck about NASA anymore. Yeah, because NASA abandoned their space exploration program, which sucks. Well, it wasn't their fault. It was because the uh, NASA abandoned their program because the government abandoned NASA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so this is awesome because now we're gonna get to go to space more. Um, people that have the money By to we, do it we, are we, going we to mean me and Sam. Yeah, yeah, people that people that have the money are going to develop the technology that allows us to go to space for extended periods of periods of times with the equipment necessary to actually explore rather than just go up there to see what happens to us and ants and mice. Yeah, um, I mean, as into you know, I, as anti-capitalist as I am, um, yeah, you gotta say that now I think. The government, I'm, I'm more anti-government than I am anti-capitalism, and uh, I think the hmm. government really wasn't, what the fuck, you're like, oh, no, no more Cold War, fuck space. So now, like, the fact that there's a private company interested in it means that things will actually start happening again. Yeah. So, it's exciting news. Um, and they went up to the International Space Station, and there were people in the space station, of course. Because, Did like, NASA abandon them, too? Yeah, NASA just <laughs> left them. No, I mean, like, they had, um, I think that they put a couple more people up there that are going to come back eventually. Um, I should hope so. And then, I think there are some Russians up there, too. Because it's the International Space Station. Um, the ISS, not the SS. Space Station. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Let's well, see how good I am at shooting that. Oh, you can't even see it. Can't even see. Um, um, also in the news, my personal favorite, um, a particular, and I had this article, I had it saved, my girlfriend sent it to me on Facebook, and um, I went over, and I, but now my computer's over there streaming the show, so I can't get to it. You get the exact details. Oh, no, but Sam just found it. Basically, a state in India. Which state is it? Uh, um, in Western India. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't... The government of Maharashtra. Maharashtra. A, a state, a municipality of some sort. I don't know how India breaks down. But a state in India has legalized the killing of poachers by um, park, basically park rangers, whatever you know the equivalent title is. Guys who just kind of ride around and look after the environment yeah. um, professionally are now just allowed to shoot and kill poachers, um, which is pretty cool because there's like six tigers left or some shit like that. Y yeah, and you know what? Basically, what this is or thirty-two thousand. What America so. does with like 
Um, the same thing America does with drug dealers, basically. I mean, it's still illegal to kill a drug dealer, of course, but what this is, more than just the ability to kill them or injure them without repercussion now, they're also, it says in the article, they're um, sending people into, more, more people out into the forest to look for these people, and also offering secret payments to informants, people who know poachers. So it's basically... Finally, they're treating poachers like criminals instead of just a nuisance, which is really what this is all about. They're, they're treating them like criminals. Yeah. But, That's cool, you, know, you know, I'm not so hot on the killing people. I I don't like killing people. No one should die. No one should ever, no one ever deserves to be killed. No, no, no. You can make all the noise you want. No one ever deserves. Well, that's no all I'm going to do. I'm probably not going to argue with you. It's going to go, eh, 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 eh. I mean, I kind of want to go there and become a park ranger and just go poacher hunting. No, I don't that's think it, how I, I don't think it, it but, but I think it's awesome that, you know. That someone's taking action. Exactly. 32,000 Bengal tigers. That's like. 3,200. 3,200, whatever. No, that's a big deal. No, 3,200. 3,200. 32,000. Like, that's, like, if you, like, got, if you got every tiger, they could each have their own, like, seat in probably Tiger Stadium. Yeah. Or whatever stadium the Tigers play in. I don't know. <laughs> the um, Detroit Tigers? Yeah. I don't know what their stadium's called. But, like, you could, you know, in, in, in Boston Gardens... Or yeah. whatever it's called, TD Garden. Titty Garden. Titty Garden. Yeah. Titty Garden. Um, you could you could probably give each tiger its own seat. Absolutely. In Garden. Well, it's not even that because I mean a tiger would take up like four seats. So all the tigers they could all have their own four seats. They would all fit. You could have a a, a tiger. tiger and just match. picture if you've ever been there, just picture looking out and seeing a, a stadium full of tigers. I mean, it would be a lot of tigers. But then you'd say to yourself, "That's all the tigers." That's all the tigers. That's all of them. And that's just in India to, you know, And to be... people are still killing them and cutting oh, off that's... their penises to make aphrodisiacs. No, that's, that's, that's half. That's, that's all of the tigers. Oh, my. Yeah, uh, it says here, India faces blah, blah, blah. It holds half of the world's estimated 3,200 tigers. So Which means them. India has 1,600 tigers there. And people are still killing them. So that's half of the entire world. That are in the wild, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's cool. Um, that's pretty much everything important that's That's, that's in the nudes. In um, the past month. There's not a lot going shirt on back on. It's pretty chilly it's down It's cold. Here. It's really cold. Um, that was nice, though. I, shadows make boobs. That's, that's what I learned from this in the nudes segment. Um, so, tonight we're introducing a new segment that doesn't really have a name yet. For now, we're just calling it Words with Brian. Uh, and this is basically, and this will work a lot better once we have more accessible computers and whatnot, so we can actually show you picture-in-picture picture and web pages and stuff like that. But basically, this is when Brian talks about things that Brian likes. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we used to do art and stuff, which was kind of, I took that segment over eventually, and um, we did that, well, we felt compelled to do that because we were in art school, and we should do something to be able to... I don't go to art school anymore. But so. now Sam and I go to art school, and I'm fucking, we're sitting here in my basement, so whatever. Um, and I'm just going to do it on whatever I feel like every year. Whatever interesting thing, probably art or something like art, that I feel compelled to show you. Tonight, for example, I was hoping I'd show you something we saw today, which was, um, it was a cat, a dead cat that they made into a helicopter. Taxidermy cat. Taxidermy cat. Not just cat. like a dead person. It wasn't just like rotting. The guy, his cat got hit by a car and he had taxidermy and like spread eagle and put... A helicopter blades at each one of its feet, and it had to fly off. Um, uh, but I can't show you because we don't have our system entirely set up down here. And now that I'm thinking of it, I didn't come up with a replacement for that, so I don't know what I'm doing right now. Well, uh, what's uh, I don't know. <coughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, that tasted like Sam's food. Whoa. Like, oh yeah. That's something you like. Cinnamon. Yeah. Um, uh, what's it called? Something. Sonny's Mexican Casserole. Sonny's Mexican Casserole. Sam made for dinner tonight. It's really good, and it's baked meat and real cheese and some vegetables and, um, Fritos, and it's like a taco salad. It's really good, and there's cinnamon in it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> take your shirts back it's off. It's really cold down here, man. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, Dirty Penny, but it's chilly. I'm glad, however, that you are commenting. Please continue to do that. 
We're gonna need a lot of that shit. Yeah, we need. We're sick of the guys. comments tonight. I know you guys have been like, like pent up, not being able to have your comments sung. Yeah, and we got a special guest star lined up. Oh, that's yeah. actually a musical artist, mm -hmm. not just some rando we convinced to get on the show. I mean, you know, surprisingly, most of the people who we sing the comments with are pretty good. That's well. And Chelsea I mean, can actually three sing. Three of them were two of them can care more musicians. Can sing. And uh, Amari was awesome. Amari was, yeah, I'm awesome. And yeah. Tina didn't really sing. No, but she tried. Anyway, Naked Sam, Naked Sam. Oh my, Dirty Penny, I know you want it bad. Uh, um, um, yeah, god damn. We were saying, we were talking, we were like, Whoa, we're so well prepared for this show. It's like better prepared than we've been for any show ever. And now I'm realizing that we weren't. We didn't fucking come up with anything. I literally just got... only 20 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just got... We're, we're already 20 minutes into the show. I literally, just on Facebook, got a decline to the event. I'm cracking at midnight. Show tonight. Just got it. Whatever. Anyway. Um, so. Uh, you know what I can talk about? We can do some shameless self-promotion. Um, let's talk about some of the stuff we've been doing lately and some of the plans for various... You streams, because um, we have this show, right? And we have now a you stream account, and we can stream stuff, yeah. right? And so we're thinking, well, we're here at the Monkey Palace, where we have all these cool shows and events and stuff. And we did a live stream actually as a fundraiser for Melodigo, mm -hmm. who are an awesome band, and they do environmental work. And, and it was super tour. fun and stuff. It was really fun. We were both here. We yeah. were hanging out, and. Um, Mark is another guy who lives here at the palace, and uh, we did that, and we're like, we could just do more web-based events like this, um, and then some of our actual not web-based events could then have a web component to yeah. it if we wanted them to. So um, that was the first thing we thought, but then it was like, well, we also have, um, you know, me and Sam are both animators, and we got we're making films and stuff, and I know a lot of people, and that all kind of falls under this blanket of this thing big this thing, because I don't know what else to call it, this thing, Big Water Arts, um, which I keep a, a blog up in front of you, go to bigwaterarts.com, um, is my poorly kept blog, um, and we're like, well, the Big Water stuff can go, we can have like a Big Water channel, and these are just, so just throw some ideas at us, uh, confusing how, wait, what did I say was confusing? The no, no, look, you gotta read all the comments, dude, just, what, oh, fuck that, comments okay, are, just dude, stop talking, no, no, don't stop talking, you stop talking, you the comments, comments. Uh, just focus that way, okay, um, anyway, anyway, so, yeah, we so basically this. the point is, I'm rambling, but we're looking for lots and lots of stuff to stream now. See, we have 24 hours of streaming that we could do here. Well, potentially 24 hours, because you have to have a computer to stream it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which we can get. Yeah. But for now, we can have, basically what we have the potential to do right now is occasionally stream things on here, like our videos or shows that we have here or... Jam sessions, or McCracken at midnight, or fundraisers, or anything that anybody wants to do um, here, we can you know hook up, just hook up a computer and sign on to this and uh, and do it. Um, so, and basically, we want ideas. And I also was gonna use this time to plug some of the stuff we've been doing lately. Uh -huh. Big Water Arts has been making movies, uh -huh. and. Um, uh, we just finished uh, Big Water, actually had Team Big Water in 48-hour film festival this mm -hmm. year, and we made a movie called The Nomen. It's pretty good. It's up on YouTube. Um, I keep chewing on this. It's, it's really good. Oh, I chew on it, too. Don't worry about it. Um, and uh, what else? We're working on uh, our our new film company, 2AM 2 2 Films, Films, is working on our first show, which uh, it's it's mm -hmm. called... Um, the Adventures of Purplio. The Adventures of Purplio. We got our first episode. Is that's going to happen done. pretty soon. So that'll be under the Big Water Art. I mean, yeah, be under that's something we can too. start streaming. So basically, what you're seeing now, this stupid-ass little show, is the beginning of something... Big and amazing and wonderful, and so it's gonna be this sloppy, giant, laying on top of bizarre web, real life art, music, hilarity, naked entity, yeah, pornographic, you name it, yeah. And uh, we're really just trying to figure out what it is right now. We want all of you, yeah, you know, comments from you guys. You can leave it on the Facebook page. You can tell us right now. 
Because, you know, I mean, just from the way Brian is talking, you can hear that we don't really know what it is yet. It's kind of just all these words put together into a ball, big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Uh, so, you know, we'll figure it out, but potential is there. And this, this actually leads into something else. We're actually uh, starting a Kickstarter project uh, that's going to be running until next week at the end of the show. Um, and basically all it is is going to be raising $98 for the purpose of buying an HD webcam and a USB microphone. So this looks slightly so, less like shit. I'm yeah. actually surprised at how good it looks. It does look really good. And sounds, but it could be a lot better. Yeah. Um, um, also, it, it would just it would just make things a little bit easier. Much um, easier. And then, you know, later down the line, we can absolutely find a computer to dedicate to running this whenever we want. Yeah, that's somewhere in the future. Yeah. If anyone's thrown out a computer, even a shitty one, yeah. Uh, tell McCracken at midnight because we we want to set one up to be a dedicated, basically, computer for doing yep. this, and we want to set up a dedicated Minecraft server. Yeah, and we want a dedicated Minecraft yeah, server. But that's just you know that's on the side. Big water Minecraft server. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Why the fuck not? Yeah. Uh, I actually had an idea once to do a Minecraft-based gallery where people would upload. You'd build like a fake museum, and mm -hmm. then people would upload like. Really, really fucking awful, like low quality gifts of their art, and then we turn them into the paintings. Yes. Yeah. In the and and you'd have a texture pack that just makes that would the be paintings awesome. Your... That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. That's a really good and idea. You have Minecraft guy. You just you can only have whatever like twelve up at a time yeah. or something. But you could just change it like every every couple um every couple weeks or something. Minecraft gallery. Hey, Estelle Flame, you are right. This is intense and will be very interesting to be heard sung because we're getting like a comment in a minute. Yeah. Well done, guys. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Let's. We're actually filling up a lot of time. Let's go on to the movie segment. That was where, good. That was, by the way, however enthusiastic we just sounded, it was just because we were wasting time. Now we're getting back to the show. Yeah, now we're actually going to talk about the show. Movies. Um, movies. Uh, so... Total Recall is a great movie. Um, well, well, okay, it's on. a cool movie. It's a it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie about stuff. It's uh, one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's later films. If you didn't know it, probably about fifteen years old by this point. Yeah. I'm guessing he goes to Mars. He's memory erased. It's cool. Anyway, and there's three boobs in it. There's there's three boob chick, and they're on there's guy with a face in his belly and yeah, but. I just, just I, as much as I like it, I don't think it necessarily needed. I didn't need to see the same movie made again. Yep, that's what they're doing though. It's being made right now. There, there's a remake coming out. It's not even. It's it's it's, it's probably released. done. So, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I saw a trailer for it yesterday. I was like, <laughs> I did like a double take. I was like, are they seriously that strapped for? They're also doing a new Judge Dredd movie. Well, that's cool. I didn't hear about that. And no doubt, a new RoboCop. Movie. Wait, is this a is this a, a reboot of Judge Dredd or it's, a it's probably a reboot of Judge? It's a reboot of Judge Dredd, Re and they're also doing a reboot of RoboCop. God, I, and I was like, are they that out of ideas that they're remaking movies that are less than twenty years old? Yeah, it's re it's really dumb. Um, you know, it's just it's a ridiculous thing to go on just going down the list. Prometheus is the alien prequel that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Which prequel is better than the better than remake? Yeah, better than remake, but still, it's, it'll be the what one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh movie basically in this in this epic saga of of alien movies. I'm really excited for. I just want to talk about this movie as a movie for a minute. I'm really yeah. excited for it. Uh, it's probably not. It's definitely not going to be as good as Alien One or Two. Um, I've read reviews of it that it's sort of much more of an action film, and there's lots more talking. It's, it's not a horror film. Alien 1 or 2 and 2 were... Well, I think were, 1 and 3 were horror movies. Yeah, 2 was the action 2 movie. was more of an action movie. Anyway, this one, I mean, obviously, it's new. It's it's in a much more modern, like, place. Uh, you know, besides filmmaking itself has become a much different entity from what it was in whenever Alien one came out. You know what I mean? Just like editing and and cinematography is has a different style. And taste. And taste. It, but I'm still very excited for this. It's gonna be awesome. Um 
Anyway, uh, so anyway, getting back to the crappy stuff of crappiness. Uh, uh oh. I'm, I'm gonna ignore that for the time being. We'll get to <laughs> our, that in studio, a our studio audience has produced underwear. It doesn't um, have Ripley in it. That's true, but that's okay. You know, I see. I had. I heard like that years ago, like six or seven years ago. Sigourney Weaver signed a contract to be in four more Alien movies. Really? And then they just, I guess, never needed her. I don't know. Hey, anyway, right. um, so getting back. Why, to the, how would she be in? It's a prequel. Is she travel back in time? They wouldn't. I, fucking I don't do know. That. Speaking of know. prequels, according to Brian, they're also doing a prequel of the Thing. They're doing a prequel of the Thing that's uh, has to do with the. Um, the original Norwegian crew that dug the thing up. I don't know yeah. if the whole movie's going to be Norwegian or what. I haven't been done with that. But anyway, that's cool. I think The Thing is a perfect movie. Not the best movie ever, but it, there's no way to make that better. It's a perfect film. Yeah. Um, I'm a big, big fan of that movie. I so. am also a big fan of it. Um, and then, you know, but this kind of just... Uh, movies suck right now. Movies suck right now. Which is not is it's not a it's not a weird thing. This isn't a new thing. Everybody's seen infographics and whatnot about you know what's being remade. You know, nineteen eighty two compared to two thousand twelve, and and like how many are original movies versus remakes or there was like sequels. a glimmer of hope there for a couple of years where movies were pretty good. Like two or three years ago, remember? No, I mean yeah, no, I mean like just a little bit. Like, like it was it was like kind of got cool for a second. I remember one year I was watching the, the Oscars and I was like, wow, like the Oscars is lame. Like, it was the year the Hurt Locker came out? This was like oh, two yeah, years two ago. Two years ago, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hurt Locker, yeah. the freaking social network, and yeah, I remember 127 it. Hours and all that stuff. Yeah, I was it like, was wow. the first year they did 10 movies at the Oscars, 10 movies for Best Picture at the Oscars. Yeah, I was like, wow, this is really cool. But then, like, it just didn't work. It didn't pan out like that. Yeah. And things went back to the way they were, which brings us to the cap. Keystone of this, keystone. the gem and the crown of the shittiness make a keystone. of of modern cinema, and that is Battleship. Battleship the movie, similarly Monopoly the movie, which I heard a movie that they're, rumor that they're making. But anyway, Battleship um, the that movie that sounds like a rumor. Battleship the movie, starring John Carter of Mars, Rihanna. <laughs> Liam Neeson is in everything right <laughs> Liam now. Liam Neeson doesn't give a fuck. I'm pretty and sure like people mail him scripts and he like does he was like he like picks them up, he's like, Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> and, and also the blonde the blonde vampire from True Blood who has never been in anything else before. So it's like it's just like oh Taylor Kish, that's John Carter's name, sorry. Um, it's just like a whole random, and it's just made by the people, it's just Transformers. It's made by the people who did Transformers. It's the same studio and production company. Like, yeah. Uh, um, it's exactly, it's got, I swear to God, it's going to have 20 of the same shots in the movie. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's and this just, is, this is coming out on the, uh, at the same time as two, uh, oh, two Snow White movies. Snow White movies. Mirror, Mirror, and, and just uh, Snow and White. Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. Um, which is a couple years after the Red Riding Hood movie, which that entertained me when that happened, but now, in retrospect, I'm just upset. Um, it was like, I don't know, I remember seeing the trailer for that in the theater, and I was like, I like, looked at whoever was next to me, and I was like, this has got to be a fucking joke. I know. Like, there's no way a group of adults sat down and thought this was a good idea, you know? But apparently... I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? There I is hope in all of this. Because, first of all, go see the new Wes Anderson film because it's no doubt awesome. And then the other thing that I want to talk about um, is the fact that, you know, all of this sucks and, and you know, these things kind of don't work very well because, you know, movie remakes and stuff like that suck. But at the same time, I'm only doing this because people want me to, uh, at the same time, the Marvel universe that they're building in movie is really impressive because sure it's an adaptation of a book which people are always like ah oh, adaptations suck like blah 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 but uh Tech you tag it. um me yeah, me and, here's the cool thing about the the Marvel things is it's pretty easy to get snobby and trash on comic book movies you know yeah um but me and me and uh, Mark Tang were talking about this the other day who you all know if you're a regular of the show he's been on once or twice. Um, and he lives here at the palace with us. Uh, we were talking about, he was like, uh, um, 
what did he say precisely? He said, I think uh, superhero movies are like the modern Western. And I was like, no, that's not true. <laughs> but I understand where you're coming from, where they're basically like, there is a place in the world for um, just just uh, completely, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, movies, movies, movies that um, just simply fulfill a need to just, they're just, just to be entertained. They're just like, whoa, that blew up, that was cool. Like, yeah. oh, look at that, oh, what's gonna happen? Well, okay, and that, that it's is true, easy yeah. to, to just like, to hate, hate shit like that, but they realize that it totally has a place in the world. It does. And the fact that right now, they're not trying to be anything more than they are, and they are legitimately entertaining. Yes. Yeah. And there is like really creative thought behind it with the um, with the canon that they're putting together. Yeah. Yeah, um, and it's the canon. It's the canon that is the most impressive part. Is that this is an adaptation, and it's all been pre-written because it's all been in comic books for forty years. But uh, uh, I mean, it's not exactly. Yeah, give me a hand. But uh, <laughs> um, uh, you know, they're building this whole like world in movies, which has never been done before. Like they've had. You know, like, things like this on television, they've had, you know, series of movies. I mean, Alien is a perfect example. Well, it's just I, a bunch you know, of movies that cross over and stuff like that. But they're building this whole canon the universe inside the I would say it's the first thing in this that's ever been done. Toho kind of did it in the 70s. With what? <sighs> With the monster movies. No, no, uh, no, they, they have, but it's like, yeah. I, I feel like it's on a, like a, a much... Bigger scale. It, well, you don't know your toe hole. No, I don't. But it's a big deal. It's cool that they're doing it anyway. Um, and it has, it, it, it's, it's never been done. I don't think in real mainstream American just, just straight up pop yeah. movies. Um, um, yeah. So anyway, movies suck right now, but there is hope. Yeah. Don't lose hope, guys. So cool. And see the new Wes Anderson movie. What's it called again? Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise Kingdom. I keep forgetting. I gotta see it. I love Wes Anderson. He's the man. Um, and Bill Murray's in those movies, so I don't know. I mean, he's gotta be in this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, it's uh, 12.40. Now, so, we already talked about our fundraiser. Yeah, we already talked about the fundraiser. Anyway, the fundraiser, you'll get a link pretty soon. Um, once, you know, we get, like, approved or whatever. And we're all, we're gonna fluke just, like... Splatter, you guys. Yeah, it's we're just gonna splatter. ask you for all this money, and uh, and then all you know, next week's show is just going to be a telethon event of what you will get to see if you, you know, helped us put this camera and microphone in our laps. Oh, Hansel and Gretel next? I'd go see that fucking movie. That'd be weird. If you're a regular of our show, you know we like old fairy tales. Old fairy tales and. Hansel and Gretel has some weird shit going on. Yeah. Don't they ride a duck? They ride a duck across a giant river to their father's house. It's just, like, weird stuff. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't have anything else to add to that. Anyway, I think it's about time to invite our guest on, right? Yeah. So, uh, it's time for care questions, and we need another chair. But tonight we have a very special guest star, a man that uh, is off here, off here at the Monkey Palace, hanging out, playing some music, talking about you know atheism and various things of consequence and interest. Um, I'm gonna keep stalling while we're looking for a chair. I'm singing a song. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, have a cozy in here. Please, have a lot of please welcome our guest star, Mr. Chris O'Grady. <laughs> <laughs> G Cord. How's everybody doing this evening? Hey, hey Chris, what's going on? Not too much, guys. Okay, how are you? Um, we're pretty good. Chris is. I mean, you know how we are. I got a bathing suit well, top yeah. on. Yeah, been here yeah. all day. I I've, I've never worn a bathing suit top before, so it's a new it's a new it's a new thing for me. I've worn bras lots of times. Well, yeah. uh, anyway, um, so you know we're gonna ask you some questions now. Re respond as truthfully or non truthfully as, as you would like, um, and uh, you know just 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 be be yourself. Will do. Um. Well, let me ask you first. Uh, what, what do you think of this show? You know, it's been a while since we've been on air. We're kind of out of the out of the 
out of the, the groove, and you're a you're a, a frequent watcher, you're a frequenter of our of our website. Um, what, what what do you think of the show so far uh, tonight? What do you tonight, think of this show? I think you've done a pretty red job. All right. It's a little bit. Uh, I think we've done a really a really but, shitty uh, job tonight. But hey, you know it's been entertaining. And mm -hmm. That's good. Chris is really tall, by the way. Yeah. He look, doesn't look it. He's on a slightly lower chair. <laughs> He's like seven feet tall. That's not true. Um, but, um, yeah. Not tonight. Um, yeah. Brian, do you have any questions? Um, Christopher, uh, do you remember, um, what was the, what was the, um, the gum that had the, the zebra? Oh. And it was all oh. the different colors, and you had... Yeah. The, you would get tattoos from it? I never did that. It wasn't really or edgy. Um, fuck. Maybe a commentary for like this one. I, I, I recall what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, is that, are we getting any help from, from No, people? commenters, you know, they're there, but they're not really commenting. Well, you need to scroll down. Don't you? No, they come at the top. That's bullshit. Not used to wearing that, are you? Also, it's, you know, behind a little bit. Yeah. Um... Nonsense. Well, anyway, what that was my question. Nonsense. Wait, so you, you, I, never, you I, never put on the tattoos, though? No, I wasn't that fucking... Oh, man. Yeah. Um, do you know how to put on uh, a Revon tattoo? Uh, I, I, I always thought, you know, when the time came, it would be easy to figure out. Okay. I just heard about some people recently who couldn't figure it out, and I was, I was pissed. Anyway, um, I, was, I was just wondering. You've never put on a, a Revon tattoo? Ever in your life? I don't think I have. No. Wow! I love robots. I think I'm. I'm I love I'm, robots too. I'm, I'm, so that kind of. I'm. I'm upset that they've gone out of style. Both. I don't know if robots have kind of gone out of style yet. The yeah. robots. The robots have. When robots go out of style. Society will either end or get a lot better. Yes. Yeah, it's it's well, a. We it's won't, a we won't know until it happens yeah. there. Um, you got any questions? That's all I got. <laughs> uh, Chris, what is your favorite type of uh, vegetable? Ooh. Tomatoes. You like tomatoes? Is it the is it the is it the amount of seeds and therefore particulates that you can like move around in your mouth, or is it the the mushiness, or is it the kind just, of just the, the kind of fresh uh, earthy flavor? Or maybe it's it's the color, literally just the red, just eating the red that feels so good. I wish that could eat red. Yeah. Uh, well, the trick is that my grandfather taught me the way that you want to do it when mm -hmm. I was a little kid. That you you eat it and you just eat like a tomato, but you put salt on it, like bite it, and you put. Oh salt my on God! It, yes. And it's like eating red pretty much. It's that good. Yeah, hmm. that's good shit. Well, because all the salt does make things taste, you know, more like what they already taste like. This yeah. intensifies flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're literally just like, this is, like, it's just tomato! You know? That sounds awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I've never done that before. No, it's really good. It's wicked good. Uh, uh, plug time. Chris, what are you working on right now? I am currently working on new album called The Horror Bunny that Ooh. is being produced by yours truly here or, or, or his truly here and um, uh, Brian Fitzgerald in this room producer, in this very room <laughs> on this very on. day actually on this very day we also started a band today yeah, that's another sort of story band. that's an entirely different story um, and, and Big Water you know Chris was also we were talking about Big Water earlier Chris we was were. the co-founder me and him. I don't know if you know that, that means, if, if I get into mm -hmm. this festival in Ottawa, your name's going to be in the fucking like, playbill. It's pretty rare. Because it says, it says in 2011, Brian Fitzgerald founded along with folk singer-songwriter Chris O'Grady, the Big Water Artist uh, Collective, or whatever the fuck they called it. It would probably legitimize my entire life. Well, okay. I'm glad. Actually, you know what? That was my old uh, bio that I put in there. Because I put in a bio, and then they were like, no, you already have a bio. And then I went and I read the bio that I already... And so I couldn't put the good one in. And then when I read the bio that's in there now, it just says, yeah! With like a few exclamation points. So I have to change it. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah. yeah, no, I gotta get yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so I gotta go fix it. But yeah, me and Sam just uh, 
fucking submitted to Ottawa recently. I'm really telling Where'd everyone you submit, about guys? it. Uh, I submitted Moonbrain Radio Control, and Sam submitted Lewis. Lewis the Fetus. These are both fucking excellent movies, by the way. I've had the pleasure of seeing both of them. And on the big screen. Have the, yes, on an enormous screen. And if you have the opportunity, I, I, I don't know how. Go to I'm Ottawa and good. see them. Yeah, go to the fucking Canada. Actually, you are you submitted the glove box. I pretty much missed it. But I didn't submit the glove box. Oh, okay. You didn't submit Neither the glove box. Neither one of us submitted the glove box. Next question. Um, what is the best bad song ever? Ooh. Uh, ever. Yeah, ever, of all time. Whoa. Um, wow, that's actually, like, an incredibly hard one. I know, but, you know, if you had to come up with one off the top of your head, like, what's what's just, like, one of the, the greatest terrible songs ever, one of the, the greatest bad songs ever? Because I have mine. It's a pretty easy one. Party in the USA. Really? That's Party in the USA? I, no, that's I like a pretty good melody. one. The pretty I bad. love it. Don't, I love that song, dude. Mercilessly rips off, uh... Modest Mouse, which, if you know anything, you know that stealing is a good thing. You should do it. <laughs> good artists, no, no crappy artists copy. Uh, mediocre artists borrow, but great artists steal. Great artists steal, yeah. yeah. Picasso said that. Um, and that's not bullshit. I think if I could throw my answer, to this yeah, no, go for it, Brian. I'd say, I think She Wolf by um. What's your name's Rihanna? right up there? No, who did that? Um, Nicki Minaj. No, it was uh, Rihanna. No, <laughs> who the fuck did she wolf? I'm pretty sure. It was she Rihanna. also did this S S Africa soccer song. Um, oh, oh, Shakira. Shakira. Um, she wolf is awesome. Um, uh, I really, really have a soft spot for Cascada, and um, and but I, I think if I had to pick one, I might go with. Yeah, playing together. Jesse Coulter. Uh, I'm not Lisa. That's good. Okay. Uh, Which also has my favorite. I think I think that because it, my favorite cover ever was Killdozer's cover mm -hmm. of uh, of I'm not Lisa. What the fuck is going on over there, man? I'm doing lots of stuff. We're we're playing She Wolf and Party in the USA, and we're gonna throw mine in there, which is Pour Some Sugar on Me by Def Leppard. Okay. Because who's the other? It's really? just. Really? No, I agree with it's, really it's just so good. It's a great I mean, Miley Cyrus is sort of crushing this match. I think it's in Death Leopard. Yeah, take, take her out. Take, no, 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 no. I'll just take her down. I'll just take her down a little bit. Here we go. Boy, what we're watching right now is pretty weird. Yeah, no, uh... Yeah. I think it's in the See, this is why I wish we could screen Yeah, because this would be This insane. is why the show is not what it used to be. <laughs> All you're getting is our reaction to this. Well, oh, no, they can hear this music. The yeah. cacophony that's coming through right now. Well, it has an order to it. It's a really satanic order. It's really a true dark and um, thing that's happening here in this room right now. Um, I can't dig anymore of this. I'm sure you can. Yeah, okay. Whew. Okay, next. That was fun. <laughs> next care question. Next question. Um, when did you first learn that it that the world was against you? Uh, because we've all realized that at some point in our lives. It's taken me 83 years to realize this. When when did you realize it? Well, I thought I had realized it back when I was a punk ass chump at some point back in punk ass chumpville. Yeah. But now I understand that the universe doesn't care. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting perspective. All right. And or the universe is created for my own enjoyment. Yeah. And or is ruled and controlled by John Benjamin, which is not a fucking joke. The guy's fucking with my family. Okay. Through that TV, I, he controls everything. You should look him up and fucking send him angry. Letters. John Benjamin? Wait, John who's Benjamin. this guy? He's the comedian slash and or voice actor. He did the show O'Grady. Um, he's a fuck. He, okay. Uh, 
Yeah. It was messing with me. It was messing with my family. And um, you should all write him angry emails right now. Okay. Weird. We're all over it. What? Um. Um. I, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to kind of go back to the last one. Name some pop bands that don't suck, Chris. Man, modern pop band. Modern pop bands modern that don't pop. suck. Are there any modern pop bands? I know at least one that you like. What's that? Big and Rich. I know you're a Big and Rich fan. You can come up with something. Oh, of these. yeah. They had a new song that I heard today. It wasn't that good. Either. I think it's a Rich song. Um, they're also like wait. pop country. Wait, 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 wait. Big and their names are actually like there's two dudes as a dude named Big and a dude named Rich. Big Kenny and John Rich, yeah. Wow, oh, I didn't know that. And okay. Um, okay. She Wolf is unbearable. Well, Swim Fan is unbearable. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sam, pop artists who don't suck. Well, you know, I'm a big fan of pop music just because it's catchy and it's easy to listen oh, to. Artists, I mean, we can do artists. Okay, yeah. Well, that's what I said, isn't it? Well, I mean, like, on along this pop country vein, Taylor Swift and Brad Paisley are two of the greatest songwriters alive right now. That's okay, true. Okay, I mean, that's, that's, that's true. something I didn't expect you to say. That's, but all right. that's true. It's absolutely I really, true. That, what's the Taylor Swift song? Thank you, Mick Butter. The Taylor Swift song of uh, when you're 16 and someone tells you that really bothers me. And I think this is more something I've picked up from film that I really, really hate the way that, like, high school drama is basically, like, played down. Like, everyone says, like, like um, what do you call it? Uh, mean Girls is supposed to be this awesome movie, and I just think it's, like, you're just devaluing, like, the the mindset of, you know, it's like, when you're, when you're in high school, it's not like it's like, oh, it's all cute. It's like, that shit is fucking important. Yeah, and like, but it's maybe not it's not, actually important. It's, maybe it's not actually important, but like, Stuff that happens in high school can fuck you up for your entire life, sure. and then it becomes important. Well, I mean, well yes, yeah, so you know, if we're gonna argue with Mean Girls, I'm pretty fucked, really sure. fucked up from high school. I'm pretty sure that's what Mean Girls is about, though. I don't know. It's just I, I and I mean that's yeah. one yeah, particular yeah, 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 yeah. thing. I won't get hung up on specifics, but I never liked in movies the way like um, basically uh, the just being a teenager is kind of looked at like it's just this like fun little thing you're like oh remember when we were young and there was nothing everything was just silly and whimsical um well, I don't, and that's why and, that, and that's why well see that's why um stand by me is like one of my favorite movies yeah. ever period because it is it has that same sense of like you know it's like this 13 year old like angsty adventure thing it's like it, they they are distinctly kids you know and juno the same way like in juno darko. she's like she's really Donnie she's fucking darko yeah, yeah it's like it's like yeah and, and stand by me it's like there's it's like sandlot almost the characters but like there's so much realer like the first time they're, you, see they're, it, they're, they're, you know you know what it is? it's, yeah. the, it's the the very realistic situations with yeah. just parody characters they're, they're yeah. just parodies of life like the whole thing is a parody yeah but it's still true yeah that's which is one of the reasons those movies are so interesting yeah the Smurf speech in Donnie Darko is one of my favorite moments. I've yeah. Yep. <laughs> anyway, um, so I feel like uh, Taylor Swift did that that same thing with that that song when it was well, called sixteen. Yeah. Is that I what it's what called? called? No, I anyway, don't think that's just what she did. But I just I just don't like that song. Maybe the impression that you got. That song just rubs me the wrong way. Um, well, uh, nonetheless, though, she is an amazing songwriter. Okay. Before she was ever actually a pop star. You can believe that. Um, Country music has a higher standard. You can't have, you can't put the emphasis on wrong syllables. And <laughs> pop music and rock music doesn't hold themselves to that standard. They don't look at the songwriting as an art in and of itself. And that was fucking pretentious. Um, well, uh, so okay, uh, don't worry about it. How, how, how are things going, guys? It's going good, Sam. Yeah. Who do you like in pop? I like a lot of people in pop. Okay, but like, I mean, I like freaking rap music. I like crappy, like, you know. But, I mean, shit that's on, like, Kiss, like, oh, that stuff. I mean, aside from the obvious things that come out, like, obviously Adele is fucking awesome. Yeah. And obviously, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously CeeLo Green is the man. I mean, like, it's hard to but, say then, because, I mean, like, you know, really? most of the stuff. Why fuck CeeLo Green? Because he changed the words of Imagine to all religions true. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, the, uh, no, I mean, I mean, like, no, pop, it's, it's, I don't know. 
I like everything. I like everything. Okay. I like everything. Really I'll like stop everything. being a That's snob. I like everything. I will trust one thing out there, though. If I meet someone, like I've met guys at shows, like I see the band play, I'm like, hey, what kind of music are they into? And they say, I just love all music. I stop talking to that person because it's like, there's no fucking way you love all music. No, if you don't absolutely hate true. something with a passion, you don't have any, like you don't have any taste. You know, it's like, okay, so are you telling me that you love uh, um, Bob Dylan and uh, like? Um, what the hell's his name? Who did Ecknotten? Like Philip Glass <laughs> and and um and like uh, Slayer and uh Why not? And what the hell all equally and you know or, and, I mean and, there's and, no reason you can't and then you like you like uh, Bjork just as much. I mean there's no reason you can't yeah, absolutely no, okay look, look at this way. But I know no what you're saying does. and I think I'm one of those people. I yeah. like almost everything. There is stuff I don't like. I don't like gangster rap. I don't like deep South Country. Okay. I like gangster rap. So if I if gangster, I, gangster if I met like you, crappy modern gangster rap. If I met you, I was like, what what don't oh, you like? And you're like, I don't like deep you know country and I don't like gangster rap or everything else you know. I'm I don't like, like crappy American radio dubstep. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm into a lot of different music. Actually, all four of those artists I just said I yeah, like. I Probably Slayer least of all of them. Um, and Bjork can get boring. But what anyway? The thing is, it's like. You can, you can, I don't know. It says, it says, if you don't, you don't. Hey guys, it's 12.57. Oh, fuck. It's just, it's just like, that's just, like if you say that, it's like, you're just, you're just signing off any discussion to have about music. Yeah. And like, why the hell, it's, well, you just have no taste just, at that point. Let's it's, just, let's yeah. bring it back a little bit, though. Let's, 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 let's bring back the snobbery. Let's bring back. I have a lot of the hate pretension tonight, don't bit. I? You do. I, God, let's just I'm bring sorry. Let's bring it a little bit. Let's what? Like switched roles. Yeah. yeah. If you like wrong. music, music's great. Okay, let's say this: music is great, musicians are great, and no, you can always no, do whatever you want. No, fuck the music. No, no fuck no, the music. music. Destroy music. Oh, you know what's great? It's fucking fabulous. Speaking of music, show. Get art out of the school. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of music. God damn it! We need more science. It's late. It's the show music. is almost over. We don't have comments to sing. Not because y'all, 70 of you, are lazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to sing the entire show. We're going <laughs> to sing the whole show. Uh, I can't scroll, so Brian, you're going to have to scroll. Okay. Okay, ready? Let's think of a... Uh, um, man. You want to just switch off, Chris? What? You want to switch off? Wait, no, that's not good.
Ghost. and for commenting and for giving us all this cool shit to yeah. sing and read. And, um, Go on Facebook, like the McCracken Midnight page, and keep watching and tell your friends because we're back and tell we're here for the long friends. Time. And if, I don't, if you don't watch, I will come to your house and I will rip off your ears, glue them to my cheeks, <laughs> and pretend I'm listening to you sleep. He's done it. With my cheek ears. This is true. I've seen it. Yeah. That's the end. Goodbye, everybody. Later.